Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to track time in JIRA, one of the most popular work management tools. In JIRA, you and your team can track time by clicking Start and Stop. If you forgot to use the timer, you can add time manually. Later, you can open a report and see what your team worked on and get a detailed log of all the activities. To start tracking time in JIRA, you need to install the plugin and create a free Clockify account. First, go to the Atlassian Marketplace and install the Clockify plugin. Then, once it's installed, go to the clockify.me website. As you can see, Clockify is a free time tracker and timesheet. Create a free account with your email. Once you're in, go to Profile Settings, scroll down and generate and copy your API key. And finally, now all you have to do is open an issue in Jira and you should see the timer button in the sidebar. Click on it, paste your API key and that's it. You can now start tracking time. When you start the timer, the right project and task will be automatically created in Clockify based on the information in Jira. If you wish, you can add a custom note describing what you're working on, select a different project and task, or add tags. You can track time using the timer or log the time you've spent on an issue manually by clicking here and entering either duration or start and end times and then clicking add. When you stop or log time via the plugin, a time entry will be created in Clockify. Plus, it will be added to Jira as a work log item, but you can disable this in Jira settings. To get a list of all your time, you can click Manage Track Time in Jira or simply open Clockify directly in your browser. Here in Clockify, you can see all your time entries. You can also edit them if necessary by clicking what you wish to edit. Clockify works even outside Jira, so you can track time from here or via a browser extension or a mobile app. You can track time yourself or you can invite others to track time across the whole company. To invite someone, go to the team page in Clockify, click Add, and enter their email. Once the person receives the invite via email and creates the account, they have to go to their profile settings and copy their own personal API key. Then, when they open Jira, they just paste the key and can start tracking time. As you can see, you install the Clockify plugin for the whole Jira account and each person uses their own API key to track time. Let's now cover reporting. You can get a quick overview of activities in the dashboard. There, you can see a personal breakdown by project or click team to get a breakdown of everyone's tracked time and see who's working on what at the moment. For more control, there are reports. You can choose the date range, like this month, filter data by project or user, and choose how you wish to see time broken down. For example, you can group time by project and task to see which activities took the most time. Or you can group just by user if you need data for payroll, for example. You can export data to PDF or Excel here, share a link to a live online report here, or get all the data via API. To see all the individual time entries, open the detailed report and it will show you logs of each person's activity, which you can edit directly if you want. You can also open the weekly report to get a timesheet view of all the tracked time broken down by user or project. This is just a quick overview of the basic Clockify features. Clockify also has a timesheet, idle detection, reminders, roles, project estimates and alerts and more. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the rest of our tutorials and see everything you can do in Clockify.